All right, so we're doing what not enough people do, and that's uh, working our way away from the road here on the Rogue River. The further you walk away from the road, sometimes the better the fishing is. And remember, we don't want to catch planters that went in today, although a lot of people do. We're trying to find a little bit, some, some better quality holdover fish. So we're just walking up along the bank here. There's not really a trail, but sort of a trail. And uh, we're gonna find some really nice holes that haven't been touched by people today just because they don't wanna walk, they don't wanna fish right to, or walk away from the road. Boy, that looks good. That's a bite. There's a fish. <laughs> Oh yeah, use a pike. That one took a little bit longer than expected. Took just under a minute. No, he is not gone. He is on. Just like we thought. Within a minute. That wasn't even a minute. That was 22 seconds. Within a minute. Combination. Fire bait and the chartreuse fire egg. See him yet? Ooh, scrappy. Scrappy, scrappy. Oh, fish on. Oh, there he is. Here we go, Mick Thomas here. And uh, using fire bait for the first time. I was uh, curious to see. No, that ain't going to work. You, you just put a little dab on your hook. So, time out, this guy keeps catching fish with peach, baby, peach, peach garlic, garlic fire bait. And he's killing us with our segments here. But it's a nice fish. It's, it's nice when the fish interrupt every episode you try to Oh, oh nice catch release. And release. Catch like and release, that. that's the best time. So what were you saying here? You're rolling in a ball? So we're ro mm -hmm. rolling it in a little ball. You just put it in the middle of the hook. You pick up your rod. It's a very easy process. Anybody can do it. And the most impressive thing for me today was it's the first time I've ever used this bait. I don't do a lot of trout fishing anymore. And just about every cast in the water we've had bites and hookups today on the Upper Rogue River. Just extraordinary. A lot of fun. Oops, my bobber is starting to go down already. We've switched over and added a bobber just to uh, do something a little different. And it's worked out well. Oh, there's one. Go! Fish out. Oh, just like that. Troy, that took too long. I was counting to 15 and you got it before I hit 15. They just don't know what it is. They like the fire bait. Got news for you folks. Troy. We'll not try anything else but peach garlic fire bait. That has been his ticket. On fire. And look at this one. In the mouth. This fish was about to go home. And he's on. He's on there. I think you're impatient. And he was, uh, <clears throat> that was at about 20 seconds when you got that one to bite. He was a very quick bite, <clears throat> a very quick hook set, and fish on. This fire bait is working extremely well today up here in the upper road. It's not a bad fish. And he's got a little oh, attitude. Nice he's got a little bit of an attitude. And he is definitely hungry because he ate that fire bait right on down. Unfortunately, Beautiful fish. They're gorgeous. There's one. Oh, I saw that slap. Get him. He's go. on. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost too easy. Oh, baby. I 
Uh, oh, yes, you do. <clears throat> the fish answered that question. This guy's a scrappy fighter, huh? And here's another one on the supper rogue. These are, that's a scrappy little wow. fish for uh, its size, but a lot of fun up here on the upper rogue today with this fire bait. It's not a bad fish. No. He's got a lot of spunk to him. Try to handle him dental. Get a good release on them. Okay, you've seen us catch a lot of these trout here on the upper road, and now we're going to show you how we're rigging this. What we're doing is we're taking a four pound test leader, about two and a half feet long. We're using just a simple barrel swivel, a couple split shot, and a small gold hook that usually we use for fishing salmon eggs, but today we're gonna to be fishing it with the fire bait. And a simple knot to use, it's just a simple fisherman's knot. I'm gonna show you how to tie it. You just thread it through, twist your hook six times. Five, six, take your end of the line here, come down by the shank, Go through the loop. Just give it a simple pull. Trim the end here. And then I'm gonna take myself. We're gonna try some wild garlic wildfire here. Wanna make this into a little worm. We're just going to put it in our hand and we're going to roll it out a little bit. Make it into a worm. Beautiful. We're going to take our hook. I like to stick it in the middle. Run the line all the way through, pinch it back over. And you're fishing. That simple. Now let's go catch a fish. You grabbed his peach garlic? I got the peach garlic. And he switched to there. garlic wildfire. <clears throat> I didn't have a problem hooking that log. <laughs> oh. There, he there he is. What happened, Mick? There's one. You cut me off. Cut you off? I let you cast first. Side of the mouth. Just like that. Just that simple. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Southern Oregon. We're about an hour and a half outside of Medford right now. And we're not far from Crater Lake. We're not far from Diamond Lake. We're on the upper Rogue River, a place that's stocked every single week by the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. And they're stocked from basically, oh, upper end of Lost Creek Reservoir on upstream for several miles. And they stock in most of the campgrounds, most of the bridges, and weekly you get rainbows that go in there anywhere from eight up to 10, 11 inches. Now this is a great place to come up here, bring a family, go camping. You can do what we did. We caught and released half our fish today. Well, we caught and released about 20, and we kept about five for the grill. And there's nothing wrong with keeping these fish. This is a put and take fishery. As long as you have a license, as long as you're gonna utilize these fish and eat them, it's a great resource for everybody. Now, one thing we did today, caught fish on Potsky Firebait. All you guys have grown up using our green label, our premium salmon eggs. Today we came up here locked and loaded with Potsky Firebait. You'll see that peach garlic, garlic salmon egg were the top producers today. Every single cast just about today, we caught fish on those baits, as well as American Wildfire and Rainbow. It's an absolute great place to enjoy the day with some crystal clear water, some beautiful scenery, and lots of rainbow trout.
and a swing and a miss. Well, the fish have to win sometimes too. Man, what happened? Um, I just fattening him up for the next drift. He, like right there, or yeah, he he has to win too. You oh, know, yeah. you got to be nice to the fish. They're nice to us, so. Every now and then you just feed them. <laughs>